Hi everyone, uh, this is Mr. DiBartolo here. Welcome back, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I do have some news for today. This will be the last session um, that Uplift is requiring um, you guys to do with me. Um, you will all go back to your um, teachers on Monday, virtually. You're not going back to your campus. So you'll go back to your teachers virtually. They should be reaching out to you at some point um, to let you know how they'll be reaching out to you. I know I have to send my peak babies an email, but, but I'll get to that later. Um, so you should be receiving an email from either your teachers or your admin directly about um, where to attend class. Um, as per Monday, the quarter will start back up and things will be required of you. So just keep that in mind. Um, anything else? Um, teachers who assign the work, from what I understand, can elect to make this stuff extra credit. So if you want extra credit for the fourth quarter, make sure that you complete all the assignments that the teachers are giving you here. Um, that's on a teacher by teacher basis. I know that I am, so my AP kids, um, all the assignments that I've asked you to do, um, I will make extra credit for you guys on top of everything else that I'm gonna give you uh, in quarter four. Um, what else can I say here? Um, think that's it. Um, if you haven't heard anything from your teachers, just shoot them an email. Um, do not shoot me an email because I only know what's going on at Uplift Peak. I do not know what's going on in other campuses. So um, just so everyone's clear on that. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think in my head what else I have to tell you guys. Um, Oh, um, this pertains only in my Uplift Peak kids, but um, if you failed, actually this pertains to all the students um, in the network. If you are not passing for the year, then the district and state um, decide that you um, have not passed your EOC. So if you failed my course um, for the year, um, you failed semester one and you failed quarter three, um, the state and Uplift have decided that um, you have not passed English two star, so then you have to retake the star in December. What? I'm telling them this because it's important and I'm in EOC class. Yeah, it's not my job, but I'm letting them know. So, if you are not passing, reach out to your teachers and see what you can do. If you're not passing my class, Uplift Peak Kids, and you're not passing for the year, make sure that you get yourself checked out and let me know because that would really stink to have to retake it in December. So, um, let me break down what we're going to do today. It's going to be a really short lesson. I only have one thing that I'm going to breeze through, and the rest of the time is for you guys for homework. Um, so today is 27th. It's the Friday. Today's our final day together. And let me go through the agenda real quick. We have our Dumia. We have author's purpose. And then I'm going to give you a majority of the time just for homework. Uh, this should be really quick, like 15-minute lesson, and then the rest of it is yours. Um, here's a tiny URL, um, for the presentation, just in case it's not in the, um, description. So it's tinyurl.com backslash R-O-G-V-4-K-4. So R-O-G-V-4-K-4. So, um, make sure that you have the presentation. And 
Here we go. Okay. So, our do meow. Five minutes, as per usual. Um, this will be in the Google form. This way I can check it out. Um, it should be pretty simple. Um, what is the best piece of advice you have ever gotten and why? I want you to use sentence structures and transitions to complete your Dumia. Um, the more detail you add, the better. So I'm going to give you five minutes to get that done. And if you need to pause me now, pause me now. Smart. Good job. Okay. Sorry, guys. Miss Pop uh, is being very rude right now. Wow. Cabin fever, you know what I mean? Okay, so um, I look forward to reading your responses, and let's get started. The quicker we get started, the faster we can get out of here. So if we go to slide three, um... Posted this um, because these are things that we have gone over over the past week or so. Um, I want to hear your opinion about the, the these three things: um, symbolism, irony, satire. Why do authors bother to add these elements into the stories that they write? Um, you could just give me a really short answer in the Google form. All I want to know is why do you think that authors bother to add these things? They don't have to. Why do they bother to do so? Once you're done with that and your short answer, we're going to get to our meat and potatoes for today. It is the author's purpose. Um, it's on slide four. Um, author's purpose equals the author's intent. Why they wrote the text. Um... So let's pretend that I'm an author and I wrote a really politically motivated article. Um, what do you think my intent was? Maybe to show people um, or get people on my side politically? Or if I wrote um, To Kill a Mockingbird, if I was Harper Lee, um, why do you think that she bothered to write that book? Um, was it to inspire young women to be more professional? Was it to show how race is affecting our country? That kind of stuff. So the author's purpose is why you think they wrote the text. And you can find evidence to prove your point uh, from the text. So how this affects us, like us. Um, well, we need to think. We need to think and analyze Analyze just a fancy word for processing. Um, we need to think deeply about all of the factors that contributed to the production of the text. So if we look at to Kill a Mockingbird, what were all the factors um, that Harper Lee had to experience to produce that text? Uh, we also need to think about potential bias, um, especially in like political articles. So in like fake news, that's really easy to spot. Um, we need also need to think about the overall meaning of a text and think about the author's purpose about an overall meaning. So if you can come up with a summary, you should be able to figure out the author's intent to write it. Um, we also need to think about specific language the author used, satire, irony, imagery, um, and why they added them into the story or the article. Um, especially imagery. I know that's something we haven't gone over in our sessions. Um, why would the author use descriptive language or a metaphor? So those are all things to be thinking about. Um, if you go to the next slide, there can be five general reasons why an author writes. There could be plenty more, but we have five general ones that we can think of here. Um, it could be to persuade. So a political article um, or like a persuasive essay that you guys have had to write all year. Um, it could be to inform like an article about coronavirus that we've read. Um, it could be to enter entertain. Um, maybe the two articles that we, articles, the two stories that we read uh, yesterday 
story of an hour and the, the gift of the magi um, those could be used to entertain that could be part of the author's purpose or a portion of it um, it could be to explain um, inform and explain are very similar um, Explain could be more like um, technical, kind of like a cookbook or a more detailed, a more detailed um, article explaining like really technical things about something. Figure like an article about what is coronavirus. Like that is informing and explaining at the same time. Lastly, to describe, um, this has a lot to do with imagery. Um, if you're describing like this tapestry behind me, it's very lush and blue and full of vibrant colors. Um, if I were reading, I would say, wow, this author put a lot of imagery to describe this tapestry. Maybe the the purpose of that is to show the significance of this tapestry. I don't know, I'm making this up on the spot, but you can kind of see where I'm coming from. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to slide six. I want you to reread that really short story by Ernest Hemingway, which was slightly depressing that we read yesterday. Um, baby shoes, yeah, I'll read it. For sale, baby shoes never worn, Ernest Hemingway. So what I want you to do in the Google form is I want you to write a paragraph explaining what do you think the author's purpose is in this short story. I tried to make this as short as possible. What do you think the author's purpose is here? Do you think um, he was trying to persuade, inform, entertain, explain, or describe? Can you think about bias? Can you think about his intent and the overall meaning? Can you look at the words? the actual diction and come up with um, a reason or a purpose um, why he put those words in there. So I'm going to pause myself now. You guys can pause me now. Take about five minutes. Give me a paragraph in the Google form and then we will come back to it. Okay. So I'm paused. Now I'm unpaused. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. I wanted to use this story again um, just because we were familiar with it. I wanted you guys to be able to pick apart something short. That was kind of the goal there. Okay. So um, that brings us to the homework, which is on slide seven. Like I said, this was going to be quick, and the majority of the time is going to be spent um, you doing the homework. So I am going to have you guys write a five-paragraph ACES essay exploring either the story of an hour, which we read yesterday, or the gift of the Magi. Either or. And both um, stories are linked in the PowerPoint from the day before, so you can check the Uplift or my channel and access it there. So what are you going to write about? You're going to locate three different intents the author had in one of these stories and explain what you think the author's purpose was and why you think that. So you're going to come up with a thesis on your own. You're going to think deeply about the text and think about what the author's purpose was in three different ways and why you think that. The important part is the why you think that. So you've got to explain why you think your quote demonstrates the author's intent. So um, this could be done on Google Docs. Uh, and then you can email me or your teacher as well um, so they can give you the extra credit for completing the assignment, um, which will count in quarter four. So. Those who are doing the assignments, like quarter four should be a breeze because you'll have so much extra credit on your side. Um, so we'll start with your three different intents. You'll go through them. You'll explain why you think those are valid using text evidence. You'll summarize your position. 
you'll do two more paragraphs intro and conclusion you guys should know how to do this already this is all review and you guys should be golden um there's not too much more uh there if you have any questions for me and how i process this um you can send me an email um i'm gonna have this due monday um so either email me or email your teacher um the essay the rubric is on the slide right after this slide and that's pretty much it the rest of the time is up to uh, up to you guys to write a five paragraph essay which shouldn't be too bad honestly it's not like we have anything better anything better to do anyway so uh, i told you guys it was going to be quick today um that is all i have it's been a weird two weeks for sure. Not anything I was expecting after spring break. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for your participation. Um, I hope you guys uh, are well and are doing well and everything's going okay with you and your families. Um, I know this has kind of been a weird time and I haven't really talked about it, but it is definitely weird. Um, I'm here for you. If you ever need anything, you can absolutely email. I might not respond right away, but I will be here for you when I will respond and I will get back to you because I love all of you very, very much. I am sincere when I do say, I, when I am sincere when I say that. You guys are awesome. Um, thank you for those who have been watching. Um, it has been a pleasure. This has actually kept me sane, believe it or not. It has given me something to do and I love teaching and I like interacting with you guys so thank you very much um huh that's all i have for you guys um any questions anything at all please email me and guys have a good one be well be safe bye bye